Hello. So in this video, I created cellular life in Minecraft. I made both Conway's Game of Life and Wolfram's Elementary Automata, and they can create really complicated results from very simple instructions. So here's a demonstration. This is a fractal from, again, the fractal mod. I've been working on it forever. And if we just turn this mod on, then it will use this. At least it should. There we go. And uh, yeah, so this is currently using Conway's Game of Life, and uh, it will apply those rules, and it will create, well, life with that, or something. Now I can make the refresh rate a bit higher because it's loading already, but yeah, so it just takes every last iteration, and it'll use that for its next cycle of life. So for example, there's some stable regions, like the square is stable, while other regions are chaotic and still living, I guess. I don't really know how to describe this other than life, but it takes really simple instructions and applies it over a large area. And we get nice results. Here's a quick time lapse. So yeah, that's what the Game of Life can create, and uh, it only uses four really simple rules. And again, black blocks are alive, white blocks are dead. So an alive block will die if it has less than two neighbors. If it has two or three next to it, then it'll survive. Now it only has one, or it doesn't have any, so it will die on the next one. And uh, any cell with more than three neighbors will die. So if I just spam blocks here, most of these should die. Yep. And one of the white dead cells will be brought back to life if there, if it has exactly three neighbors next to it. So, for example, oh come on, this block will be brought to life and now this is all stable because each one only has three blocks next to it which is alive. But if I added one more, then it would probably cause problems. Yeah, so there's my crude example of how this game works. And just from those really simple rules, it makes all of these really complicated and cool patterns. So I also created Wolfram's Elementary Automata, which is a pretty similar, but instead it uses a number to create the rule set. So instead of having these specific defined rules like the Game of Life has, it will generate its own, kind of like a seed. So you can change this with automata preset and go to Wolfram and it'll give you a whole big message that you have to set a rule using set rule to that. And we can do this and I'll just choose, and you can choose any number between one and 256. So I'll choose 18 because 18 is cool. And if we just reset this, and turn it on, we will see it applies the rules to this thing the same way. So it should start growing. I don't really know which way it wants to grow out yet. So which way are we going? It has a way that it likes going more than like north, south, east, or west. It's weird. It, it's different depending on the direction. I think this way is the right way. So if we just grow this out, it will make its own patterns by using its own rule set. So I hope you enjoy yet another time lapse of this.
So just like that, once again, we've created super complicated results from very simple instructions. I mean, like, just look at that. The rules are pretty much just as simple as the game of life, yet more complex results emerge. And we can change the rule as well. We can set this to anything else, like, for example, about 15. Oh, apparently 15 likes to shade things black. That's a lot less interesting. Oh well. Every rule is different. But, again, I just think it's really cool how it works. We've even added a new fractal by accident to the mod called the Serpensky's Triangle. And it looks pretty much just like this, although it's a bit hard to see at this scale. Now, unfortunately, there are still a few problems with this. Mainly, it can't do the entire world in one second. Instead, it has to iterate through every single block. So, currently the update order for some of it is wrong, so things like gliders might not work. Or it might just be slightly different than you'd expect it to go, but... Oh well. So if you've seen the rest of the things I've made in this mod, you might know that I've used things like fractals to make height on a world. And I also might want to do that with... Conway's Game of Life, and Wolfram. I just have no idea how I'm going to do that yet. So, sometime in the near future, I might add more onto this, and it'll be even cooler than right now. So yeah, that's the cool, flashy things I've added. But now for some other mod news. So first of all, I used to make it so that if you left the world, then it would immediately stop the mod because otherwise it'd crash when you rejoined. But I fixed this, and I fixed a few other things, so the mod should run faster, and hopefully it runs on servers now, although I still have to test that. I've also added this auto refresh rate, which will automatically reset all of the chunks in the world every that many ticks, however many you put in. So this is mainly useful for automata, like the one in the background, but if you set this to a really high number, then each once in a while it will just clear up memory a bit. But to be honest, I wouldn't really recommend messing around with this too much. And uh, this also has its mode, auto refresh mode. You can set this to true or false, it's currently true. So yeah, that's what I added. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, Fractal Civilization is coming soon. I am just about ready. But not quite, I still have to do a lot of testing, and then it'll launch eventually. But again, if you would like to join my Minecraft server, then make sure to join my Discord. And if you have any idea on how I should do the height or make something cool with this, then please let me know, because I have big plans for this cellular life. Because it doesn't have to be black and white cells, maybe I can make it, like, skulk blocks, and then it'll have a 1 in 100 chance of a catalyst or something. I don't know. They're just ideas, but I'll think about what to do with them. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!